Hello and welcome to another Simplistic RC video. Well I ordered from Banggood uh, the 2.4 GHz 4 channel mini FreeSky D8 compatible receiver with PWM output. Now this receiver is just a regular receiver with PWM output so it can't do SBUS or, or um, P, PM. So this is just a straight receiver for your for your airplanes or anything like that your wings so anyway I pay seven ninety nine and it, it they only stock it in China so it took uh, about three weeks for me to get it and as you can see here we're gonna go down here I'm gonna open the bag up in a little while but that's how it looks in the front and this little connector here um, is the same connector uh, that is on the X I believe it's the same connector that's on the X uh, M and the XM plus uh, free sky uh, receivers so um, if you look for a replacement it's the same length and everything so if you need a replacement then you can use that antenna you can get a replacement antenna for for those uh, receivers and it will work on this board even though it's not a free sky product so let's go down all right uh, and as you can see you can see the fail safe button on the front which it operates a little bit differently from the actual free sky uh, receivers okay so we're gonna go ahead and you can see the pictures here you can check this out on Banggood that's what the back look like if you, you can see the channel assignment here on the back of the board okay so now let's get down to the description um, it's a 2.4 gigahertz mini receiver um, it's four channels the resolution is a uh, 1024 it's PWM output operating at 3.5 to 10 volts which we you know most receivers only put out 5 volts I mean most uh, speed controllers put out 5 volts I should say um, it's 500 milliamps it's power consumption and antenna length is 100 millimeters which is your standard uh, mini receivers from FreeSky uh, length uh, the dimensions is 11 millimeters times 24.5 millimeters and the range is 500 meters plus which is why I bought this receiver because uh, I fly combat wings and uh, and then my I've got a park flyer that I'm I bought two of them and I'm gonna put one on a park flyer and one on the my combat wing and uh, pretty much the field is roughly about a thousand feet by well I say a thousand five hundred feet by a thousand feet deep so uh, I think this should cover it pretty good so you can see from the picture here that just like on regular receivers that first roll is your PWM the middle roll is your VCC positive voltage and the one that's at the bottom of the board uh, is the ground so that's typical for you know most receivers how the the pin assignment is alright so let's get down here you tell you can see the binding procedure and all that kind of stuff which I'll go through that now here the fail safe on this board is only on channel 3 so you want to put your throttle on channel 3 because that's the only one that has the fail safe and the fail safe from my understanding will go to zero alright so let's cut this bad boy open now this receiver does come with the um, look like a static proof bag where the uh, the tiny free sky receiver that is S bus and PWM that I reviewed uh, back a little while ago uh, didn't come in a static proof bag but this one does Well, the other receiver was actually a S bus or a PPM uh, receiver, you know, for your tiny whoops and stuff like that. That's the one that I'm talking about. Didn't come in a, a static proof bag. Now, if you notice here that the, um, like I was talking about the antenna here, um, you can see you can swing this up because it's just a connector. So, 
now here I have a uh, XM, a FreeSky XM receiver, and you can see that the antennas connectors look identical. You know, uh, so so that means, and you can see the length is the same. So that means that if you buy antenna for XM, it's the same antenna that's on this compatible uh, FreeSky Banggood receiver. So we'll put that one back up. Now what I do notice already is that there's no shrink tubing that comes in the back to uh, protect this board you know to put around the board um, that's not a good thing there you know even free sky you know they include the shrink tubing with uh, this board and other receivers that are free sky compatible they usually include the the shrink tubing a lot of times they don't include the pins but they will give you the shrink tubing but on this one it's no shrink tubing so I have to look around and see if I have anything any shrink tubing that would fit this board alright so it, it comes with the pins though so these are the pins that you get here okay alright so now that second one that I had to be honest with you I've already been in the package and I have already sorted this one on so we're going to move that one to the side so this is what it looks like when it's soldered with the pins on it okay so that's how it looks after you solder you know if you don't have good soldering skills um, you need to get somebody who does and uh, they hope you solder it alright so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and get my Tyrannus and we're going to go ahead and go through the binding process Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set this up on the, um, on the Tyrannus and to bind it and also set the failsafe for this, this board, for this uh, receiver. So, first thing I'm going to do here is on the Tyrannus, I'm going to go ahead and go down. I'm going to go to menu first, so I'll get my listing of my models. And... I want to go down to go down to my last to an open slot all right and I'm gonna press enter and it says create a model and I'm not gonna go through all the the things of creating a model I'm just gonna go through the setting up this re this uh, receiver for the Tyrannus and I'm gonna go ahead and create a model here all right, so it comes up as model 32, and it is selected because there's a star next to it. So then I'm going to hit page. Now, this receiver, the failsafe, is only on channel 3. So whatever arrangement you have of your channels as far as throttle, elevator, rudder, uh, elevon, and all that stuff, you're going to have to change, put throttle on channel 3. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to page through to page we're going to go to page number page number 6 which is the mixes and as you can see channel 1 is my throttle channel 2 is my aileron channel 3 is my elevator and channel 4 is my rudder now this is going on the wing so I don't have to worry about the rudder uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make channel 3 my throttle so the way to do that I'm gonna go ahead and go down and select the third channel and I'm gonna hit and hold enter and then it says edit I want to make sure that's highlighted and push enter again now what I do is I want to come down to source and where you see it says elevate uh, elevator I'm gonna hit the enter again alright so now I'm into the modify of this of the source here and all I have to do is move the stick that corresponds to what I want the source to be so now you see it changed to throttle and then I hit enter again to lock it in now I'm gonna go ahead and back out of that with the exit button alright so now I'm gonna go up to channel 1 and I want to make that my elevator 
So now, so I went down to source. I'm on channel one. Hit enter, and I'm gonna move my elevator. All right, and then I hit enter again and lock it in, and I'm a bag out of that with the exit. All right, so now you see that channel one is my elevator, channel two is my aileron, channel three is my throttle, and like I said, I don't have to worry about channel um, four because I'm I'm you putting this on a wing. So um, I'm not going to talk about mixing and all that stuff for the wing and all that stuff. I'm just showing you how to set this up so that the fail safe will work and you have the channel arrangement right on the receiver. All right, so now let's go ahead and bind the receiver. So I've got my battery here. I've got my motor taped down to the table. I have an ESC. I've got a servo connected to the RX on channel one. All right, so this is channel one, channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. So the only channels that I'm going to use for a wing, uh, for a flying wing, is is the first three channels. And my third channel is, as you saw that I set up on the Tyrannus, is my channel 3. Because that's the channel that actually has the failsafe. I'm going to show you how to set the failsafe up too. So now I'm going to use my servo connector from the SC to apply power as I hold the bind button on the receiver. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I want to bag out of the page that I'm in. I want to get back to this page and then I want to hit menu okay and then I want to hit page one time and then by hitting the plus key instead of cycling all the way through the menu by hitting the plus key it takes me right to the bottom of the page and I need to get up to make sure that my internal receiver is set on the right thing which it's not it's on D8, D16 right now alright so <clears throat> see this is my internal RF okay so I press enter and then I can press the the positive or the negative key to get to D8 I need D8 alright that's off okay there goes D8 alright so we're in a D8 mode and I hit enter again to lock it in now I'm gonna go ahead and come down to the bind right here now I'm going to go ahead and plug my battery in because I don't have it plugged to the receiver through the ESC yet. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit the bind on the transmitter. And as I hold this switch down, making sure that I got my servo lead coming from the, from the uh, ESC, the right way my signal is on the top I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into channel 3 while I hold this bind button down and the light comes on and then it goes off that means that it's bounded okay now to set your fail safe you're gonna have to take this out of bind just leave everything the way it is take it out of the bind mode okay And you hit this button and it starts blinking now what well, that's let me know that I just set my bind for a low throttle okay I mean my fail safe for a low throttle so now let's go ahead and power this guy off so I'm unplugging the power to it all right I don't have to turn my transmitter on and off but we're gonna go ahead and recycle the power on this I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my receiver again. Make sure I got the servo the right way. Servo wire. And then I'm going to plug in my battery power. If you notice, now this is in the center. Okay, so that's working. Okay, so that's connected to my first channel, which is my elevator. All right, so that one works. So we know that the servos work. All right, let's get this to flip over and stay. Now, let's check the throttle here. So we got throttle. So now I'm gonna put it about right here and I'm gonna turn off my transmitter. 
and if you notice that it did go to zero so there were some people saying that it would not go to zero but by doing it this way it goes to zero now I'm going to show you how to set fail safe up for uh, throttle input all right so I'm going to go ahead and turn my transmitter back on welcome to free sky tyrannus okay I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the battery alright and I'm gonna go go back to the menu here and I'm gonna hit page then hit the positive key to get to the bottom of the page and then come up and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and rebind this receiver with a 50% throttle fail safe so in this situation I can put my battery back in because I have my ESC servo wire disconnected from the receiver alright I'm gonna hit the bind button on my transmitter and put it into bind mode I'm gonna go ahead and hold down the button on the receiver as I plug in the power to it and then it immediately goes out so that means it is it's bound okay so now I'm gonna come out of the buying mode on the transmitter okay then I'm gonna take my throttle put it on 50 percent and I'm gonna hit the button alright now what I'm gonna do is unplug power totally to the receiver so I mean to my setup here alright and uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put my throttle back on zero here and we're gonna go ahead and plug everything in all right as you can see we bound it up I have my servo input I have my throttle so I'm gonna put the throttle really low and remember I set this up for a fail safe of 50% throttle throttle and I'm gonna turn off the transmitter and as you can see it's now fail safe at 50% throttle turn the transmitter back on welcome to free sky tyrannus throttle warning fail and once it connects back up it goes back to right where I left my switch and that's how you set up this receiver for your model so the next video that I'll be showing is a uh, test flight out in the field with this receiver and eventually we'll get to a range test of this receiver also so until next time this is John simplistic RC